Hello, I am Pablo Herrera. I'm a Salesforce CPQ and Building Specialist at Twilo. In this video, we're going to look at an overview of the Salesforce Building product. Salesforce Building is a product that integrates the CPQ process with invoicing, payment collection, and revenue recognition capabilities. For an organization to be able to manage their quote cash, a sales rep would start by configuring the deal, negotiate prices, generate the quote, and submit an order with Salesforce CPQ. The order object lives in the CPQ package and acts as the intersection between Salesforce CPQ and Salesforce Billing. Therefore, Salesforce Billing picks up the order record for invoicing, payment, and revenue recognition. ERP platforms are complemented by Salesforce Billing as they convert Salesforce CPQ's data into transactional data. The ERP system will inherit the, the matching data, which then can be used for creating general ledger and financial reports. At the end of the day, Salesforce Billing figures out how much to get paid and when you get paid. This product helps you solve problems such as automating your billing process, where the chance of human error is reduced considerably by automatically compiling quotes and generating the corresponding invoices. This also implements complex billing and tax rules, speeds up your payment collection, and as a result improves cash flow, create powerful revenue recognition systems, and it also provides management with the data and reports to better understand profitability across customers and products. Billing runs on several rules that decide when and how to create the transactional records. Since products look up to these rules, you can group them under one rule based on how you want Salesforce Billing to handle them. Some of the most important rules are whether to create an invoice or not, how the invoice lines pricing and date values influence the building periods and cycles, general ledger rules where you define how Salesforce Billing records transactional data to your finance books, whether to calculate tax or not, and how to calculate tax based on tax integration and tax data. This product focuses heavily in invoice management. It allows you to generate an invoice manually from a single order or to automate the invoice creation process with an invoice scheduler. Invoices display a list of purchased items and services alongside the total amount a customer must pay. The invoice record itself contains important details such as the balance, due date, and payment status. All the line items from an order are fully converted into invoice lines. These invoice lines will be related to an invoice. It supports complex deals with multiple revenue types. So you create invoices that contain multiple revenue models such as one-time, recurring, or usage-based. It allows you to generate multiple invoices per order or consolidate an invoice across multiple orders to ensure that customer is sufficiently built for what they are contracted. You can post invoices at a predefined interval, daily, weekly, or monthly. With Salesforce Building, you can manage the invoice balance through credit and debit notes. Generate credit or debit records based on the needs of the customer and apply them to the appropriate invoice line. You can also automate customer payments and process them manually or through a third-party payment solution. Traditionally, usage-based billing is adopted when a business has a clear unit of measurement associated with how much of its product or service a customer uses. You can quote and price your products based on predefined rates for future consumption. All of this using the consumption schedule object. The price scales alongside usage, reducing barriers to purchase and driving higher revenue. That way you monetize your products and services based on consumption. The revenue recognition principle says that revenue should be recorded when it has been earned, not received. Meaning that when you create an invoice for your customer for goods or services, the amount of that invoice is recorded as revenue at that point, and not when the money is received from the customer. Billing has revenue recognition rules, 
which is the first object in this process. A revenue recognition rule record contains the rule itself and a related list that contains revenue recognition treatments. When a revenue recognition rule evaluates an invoice line, Salesforce Billing applies one of the rules treatments if the order product and treatment have a matching legal entity. Revenue recognition treatments let you specify how Salesforce Billing splits up and processes the product's revenue. Each treatment references a revenue distribution method, which controls how Salesforce Billing spreads revenue over a set time period. You can set up revenue to distribute over time or at a single point in time. Salesforce Billing then creates a revenue schedule record based on the fields defined in your revenue distribution method. The revenue schedule object is used to track the total amount of revenue you've recognized within the time frame set by your revenue recognition rule. Each revenue transaction record represents revenue distribution for a single billing period. This object contains information about revenue to be recognized in the current period, the deferred revenue balance at the end of the period, and previously recognized revenue. This is the primary object used for posting recognized revenue into your general ledger. Okay, so this was a quick overview of the building product. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments. Uh, thank you so much for listening.